Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Pulsatu One Karya One Malaysia has thrown its full support behind the segregation of films, according to language, in the Malaysia Film Festival 2016. It said especially since more high-quality non-Bahasa Malaysia films are being produced. It said, quote, We realize as of late many films in other languages produced locally are high in quality and have managed to rake in high film proceeds. Therefore, Karyawan fully agrees with the suggestion to divide the category into best film and best non Bahasa Malaysia film as the solution to the problem that has risen. End quote. I'm surprised. I expected the solution to be stop making crappy films and compete, but apparently that's too much work. So let's just disqualify everyone else and keep giving ourselves awards. <laughs> Refusing to be drawn into a war of words with Malacca Chief Minister Idris Harun, the United States Embassy in Malaysia, offered a diplomatic response to his accusation that the superpower wants to kill Malays. In a text message, an embassy spokesperson said the people of Malaysia and the US have a strong relationship built on mutual trust as well as common economic and security interests. Muhyiddin Yassin has revealed that other races can also join his new political party, but as associate members. He said non-Bumi associates will have the same rights but can't contest for posts. However, they can be appointed to a post. He also confirmed that the party would be called Party Pribumi Bersatu Malaysia. Zaid Ibrahim has announced he will not join Muhyiddin's new party. According to him, the Malays are progressive, liberal, intelligent and possess high morals and confidence. Therefore, he said there is no need to emulate AMNO in reminding them on the need to protect their rights or to be unified. The Sabah State Assembly has passed two bills which will lead to an increase in the number of state constituencies from 60 to 73. According to news reports, of the 55 assembly persons who voted, only three opposed. The government is studying the possibility of imposing a tax on digital business platforms in order to create a level playing field between online and non-online businesses, Second Finance Minister Jari Abdul Ghani said. He said companies providing digital business platforms generate billions of ringgit in revenue but do not pay tax due to the absence of a tax structure for its kind of business. And that's our fact sheet for today. Please leave a comment, hit like and subscribe. I'm Prasad Michael. Thanks for watching. Thank you.